this is a modded TX16S in which I have added a servo, as you can see here, which is rotating here yeah, with, with the sticks, the gas sticks, but you can do what you want, such as uh, displaying the altitude, displaying the voltage, uh, showing uh, the uh, vertical speed, like that. Uh, well, it is an aptic mode to the radio to display things that you can feel at the tip of your fingers. Let's see how it works. If we select the model parameters, you will see that we get here a special function, a special function 7, uh, in which you can attach a script. The script, do a script, and then I will take, for instance, servo throttle. You, you keep repeat on the on position, and you are done. When I switch the SC minus switch, the big one on top, yeah, we will get this activated. And now you can hear the servo. I'm rotating the radio, moving the throttle arm makes a full motion of the little servo. When you use other scripts, for instance, the variometer script, uh, it is the vertical speed variation, fluctuation, that will rotate the servo up when there is a bubble, a thermal, and down when the, when the glider is, uh, is diving. Uh, if you take the altitude script, you will get at zero the stick like that, at 150 meters, you get the, the, the stick, the arm like that, and above it's climbing. So you feel the altitude with, with your finger. It is the same for the voltage. If you select the voltage script, you will get a full battery with a stick like that, the arm like that, and an empty battery like that. So you can feel with your, with your finger here, yeah? you can feel if your battery is full or empty. It's as simple as this. You have just to connect three wires on the AUX1 serial port. Then go through the opening of the battery door and you connect to it the Raspberry Pi 2040. A very simple soldering, I will show it to you. So you get an on the other port, you get here a servo, which is coming from through the same hole. And the servo is here mounted in a 3D printed casing that will fit inside this hole. I will show you later. So that's basically the, uh, the modification you have to do. Push it inside the hole and then you have to glue it. The right position of the stick is more or less this one, and you see that it is not protruding at all, and it is fresh to the surface of the radio. There is just the room to slide the wires inside this uh, little slot. The battery goes in its position, and the Raspberry Pi finds a little room at the bottom of the battery compartment. Now what does it do? Well, it's very simple. You just imagine that you get a variometer inside your plane, delivering telemetry here on the IBUS port. And then this is the receiver, which is connected to the test plane. When I will switch This, this, when I will switch this switch, it will power the internal ESP, uh, sorry, Raspberry Pi, and then when moving the altimeter, 
you will see and you will receive an haptic information inside your small finger. This is as simple as this, uh, and you do not need any more to get the, uh, the audio information.